Dutch Cargo with his pal Spinner and Paddlefoot in another exciting adventure, The Lost Plateau. Clutch and company find time to rest and write only a few days when a phone call informs Clutch that the medical association of a large United States city is in need of his help. That's about it, Clutch. The plant known as K4 is basically poison, but when treated, it becomes the most important factor in a new medicine for night blindness. You say the K4 plant was found floating in the river at the foot of a waterfall 6,000 feet high? Right, Clutch. The ground near the waterfall was searched for miles. The plant was never found. This place you described sounds like the Lost Plateau, a flat-top mountain in the Amazon jungle where prehistoric animals and plants still live. Right, Clutch. Dr. Mednick discovered the Lost Plateau many years ago, but he never returned. His diary was found floating in the Nozama River. He had written all the information about the Lost Plateau in it. Sounds exciting, Doctor. When do we leave? The sooner the better, Clutch. Let's go. Golly, I want to see those prehistoric animals and birds. We've had some exciting trips, Spinner, but this could be the best. Do you think we could bring back a baby dinosaur? <laughs> I'm afraid we couldn't get one in the plane, Spinner. I sent a telegram to an old friend of ours asking him to meet us at Antark Emergency Landing Field. You did? Who, Clutch? You'll see, Spinner. You'll see. There's the emergency airport. There's our old friend. Clutch boy and spinner. Jumping juniper roots, I'm glad to see you. Mr. Swampy. Gosh, Clutch, what a surprise. We're glad to see you, Swampy. Been a long time. Sure has, and I missed you. Are we going someplace? Where we're going, Mr. Swampy, there's prehistoric animals and everything. Wouldn't by any chance be the Lost Plateau. Know much about it, Swampy? Just that all the natives are scared to go near it, but I'm willing. Besides, mm -hmm. I want to fry me an omelet from one of them giant bird jays. Mm -hmm. Can you tell us just where the Lost Plateau is located? I can tell you easy, but I can show you better. You mean you want to go along? The man ain't living that can talk me out of going. I even got a map. We can sure use a good man. Here's the map, Clutch. The Lost Plateau is 6,000 feet high. The sides are straight up and down. There's a waterfall that drops from the top 6,000 feet down. The plateau is surrounded by a dense jungle. I've been to the foot of the falls, but not on top. So the only way to get there is by plane. Right. Of course, the top of the plateau is covered by a dense jungle, too. I don't know if we can even find room to land. In that case, if we find a clearing, we may have to mush in. Well, now you know. Still want to go? You bet. Didn't come all this way for nothing. Let's get going. It takes only moments to get things ready, and they're on their way. Does flying bother you, Swampy? Jump in jungle vines? No. Why? You seem to be trembling. I thought the altitude bothered you. It ain't that, Clutch. I just been thinking. Do you realize going to the plateau is going to a lost world? What mysteries await Clutch and company on the lost plateau? Be sure to tune in for the next exciting episode with Clutch Cargo. Clutch Cargo, with his pal Spinner and Paddlefoot, in another exciting adventure, The Lost Plateau. You remember last time, Clutch and company started out in search of the Lost Plateau, where the K4 plant is known to grow, a plant needed to help prevent night blindness. Swampy, an old friend, volunteered to go along. Suddenly, Swampy said, You realize going to the plateau is going to a lost world? Clutch and company, with Swampy along, fly south for several hours. Occasionally, Swampy remarks, Yep, we're on the right track. I camped near that grove on my trip. How much farther would you say we have to go, Mr. Swampy? Not much. The Lost Plateau is usually surrounded by mist. We ought to see her soon. That looks 
like a river down there. You got a keen sense of observation, young feller. That's the Nozoma River, all right. Follow her, Clutch. The Nozoma's a strange river. I hear it bubbles right out of the middle of the plateau, then falls 6,000 feet to the valley below. That's what makes the mist that covers the top. You're right, Swathy. Look ahead. Golly, looks awful spooky. Almost like a ghost. We'd better climb above it. Maybe we can see better. Clutch pulls the nose of the plane up as they disappear in the mist. Can't see anything but white clouds. Looks like we're flying through a bale of cotton. These mist clouds are pretty thick. But keep your eyes open for a hole in them. There, Clutch, right there. Wow! Look at that waterfall! Top of the plateau is dense jungle. There's a little clearing right at the edge of the plateau. Gonna have to pancake in. Clutch pulls back the throttle and eases the plane's nose up into a stall. For a moment, the plane seems to stand still. Then, like a falling leaf, it starts to settle. We're pretty close to the edge. I'll keep my feet on the brakes until you all get out. Easy does it. I'm holding her, Clutch. Come on out. Clutch and Spinner push the plane back a safe distance from the edge. There. She's all tied down. Now let's look around. We better go slow at first, Clutch. No telling what's up here. The boy's right, Clutch. I ain't aiming to tangle with any giant dinosaurs. Travel on the Lost Plateau is very slow because of the dense jungle. The air is thin and breathing is difficult. Phew. That's hard work. This jungle sure is thick right in here. I thought I saw that plant move. I guess it's just my imagination. No, it isn't. Swabby, Doc, that plant's gonna bite you. Huh? Look out. That's a man-eating snapdragon. Help him, Clutch! a man-eating snapdragon. Will Swampy get out? Be sure to tune in for the next exciting episode with Clutch Cargo. Clutch Cargo, with his pal Spinner and Paddlefoot, in another exciting adventure, The Lost Plateau. You remember last time, Clutch and company, with Swampy aboard, had landed in a small clearing right on the edge of the Lost Plateau. They had just started out on foot when... Bite it, Paddlefoot! Tear it apart! You got put pressure right here. That's that one. Golly, you did it, Clutch. you. I've had my head in a lion's mouth, but it wasn't as bad as that. There's probably lots of these plants up here. We'd better be careful. Time's a wasting. Better go on. We're making headway. There's a clearing ahead. Not too fast, Spinner. Better stay with us. Paddlefoot and I want to climb that rock. Maybe we can see better. Okay, but don't get out of sight. <laughs> That's what we used to like to do when we was kids, Clutch. Huh? This is a funny rock. Gosh, it, it's moving. That's no rock, Spinner. That's a brontosaurus. No! Don't make any fast moves, Spinner. Lay still. He's smiling. Maybe he's friendly. Well, I'll be. Never heard of such a thing. 
He's given Spinner a flower. He is friendly, Clutch. Take it, Spinner. If and you don't, he might get mad. Careful, though. Now he's eyeing us. But by golly, he's still smiling. The big critter's coming over here. not argue with him. Pile on. Let's call him happy, because he's always smiling. Good idea, Spinner. He's sure making a beeline for someplace. Wonder where? I don't know, Swampy. that feeds the river. There it is. Coming right up out of the ground. <laughs> Look, there's a cave up ahead. Do you suppose someone lives there? After what I've seen, I wouldn't be surprised. Well, I'm thinking old Happy brought us here for something. Look, there's someone in that cave. A human being on the Lost Plateau. Who can it be? Be sure to tune in for the next exciting episode with Clutch Cargo. with his pal Spinner and Paddlefoot in another exciting adventure, The Lost Plateau. You remember last time, Clutch rescued Swampy from the man-eating snapdragon. Then what Spinner thought was a rock turned out to be a brontosaurus who carried the monies back to a cave. Suddenly, Clutch yelled, Look, there's someone in that cave. I don't think there's any danger, Spinner. Or something would have happened by now. Look, Clutch. He came out. Howdy, stranger. This where you live? Glug. Blub. 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 I believe he's trying to tell us something. Do you understand him, Swampy? Well, now, I ain't sure, Clutch. But strange enough, he sounds a little like my own jungle friend. Glug. Blub. 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 Jiggling jungle vines, Clutch. He can really talk. He asked us to please get down and come with him. Tell him we will, Swampy. And thank him. Rang o' blum zuck The strange little man leads them around behind the rocks, and much to their surprise... Blop, poof, zwak, Look, Clutch. <laughs> Nothing too prehistoric about this. Looks like a plateau taxi. That little brontosaurus. It must be Happy's baby. His carriage is at our disposal. Kindly get in. Good boy, Swampy. Now we're getting someplace. Those wheels aren't very round, Clutch. Bet this will be a bumpy ride. We got a little deal to talk over. Good thing we brought Swampy. They settled the deal. They're shaking hands. Maybe with a little man's help, we'll find where the K4 plant grows. Climb in, Swampy. Does he know where we can find a baby dinosaur? Didn't ask him, Spinner. But I found out his name is Albert, and he's the only human being on the plateau. Boy, this ride's a little bumpy, but it beats walking. Does he know where we can find the K4 plant, Swampy? Yeah, I described it to him. He seemed to know what I meant. That's where we're going now. Good for you, Swampy. I didn't think it was going to be that easy. We go through some mighty dangerous places to get to it. Wow! What was that? Blum, blum, blum. He says they're 
expecting to see who's king. Godly, let's get out of here. I can feel the ground shake. They're so big. Blop, blop, boop, flop. A giant bird! Look, everybody. Get under cover. We're being attacked. survive this terrible fright? Be sure to tune in for the next exciting episode with Hutch Cargo. Clutch Cargo, with his pal Spinner and Paddlefoot, in another exciting adventure, The Lost Plateau. You remember last time, Clutch and company met a prehistoric caveman named Albert. Swampy could understand his talk. He promised to take them to the valuable K-4 plant garden. On the way, in Albert's plateau taxi... Oh, Clutch, he's got me! Kidnapped right from under our noses. We've got to save him. Blup. Oops. Oh, blup. Do you think Albert knows what you said? Maybe not, Spinner. But he knows Swampy's in danger. Look at this thing go. That formation of rocks. Maybe the prehistoric birds make their nests among them. Golly, Clutch. I hope Swampy's all right. Look. Just above that rock. Swampy's okay. He looks a little mad, though. Foot, foot. Ain't this a sight for prying eyes? Me in a nest with a bunch of baby birds? <laughs> there is a resemblance. The mother bird probably thought you belonged to her. Oh, come on, Clutch. Help me out of here. What about the K-4 plant, Clutch? That reminds me. While I was gliding through the air, I looked down and saw a whole patch of them K-4 plants. Do you think Albert can take us to them? Good. The bird's coming back. Let's get out of here. There's the plants just ahead. That's the key four, all right. Just as the good doctor described them. Hop, wham, big, zwap. He says, get them and run before them big dinosaurs get back. This here K4 plant is their most favorite dish. <laughs> Jumping jungle vines. Look at that egg. That's what I come here for. Let's go, gang. Hold on, man. We ain't going without my egg. Hurry, Swampy. Hurry. Attaboy, Albert. You lost them. Then slow down, Albert, before you break my egg. These square wheels sure do make a rough ride. Clem, slug wound, jut from swing. He says them square wheels ought to wear down a little rounder in 20 years or so. Gee, Albert can go back with us now. I bet he'd sure be excited about New York. How are we going to get the plane off, Clutch? No runway. We'll tie the tail of the plane to that tree. Rev up the engine, then cut the rope. But who's going to cut the rope? Gosh. Wing, scoop, man. Blow. Albert says he'll do it. You're a good man, Albert. It's the only way. And I want you to have our spare landing wheels for your cart. Kloosh, flu. Get aboard, gang. We've got to get into the air before dark. Swampy, tell Albert to get ready. He's ready, Clutch. Completed. We got the K-4 plant for the doctor. And I got me the biggest omelet in history. <laughs> <laughs> and so ends the story of Clutch Cargo and the Lost Plateau. Be sure to tune in for the next exciting adventure with Clutch Cargo and his pal Spinner and Paddlefoot.